Really tough morning for fire crews here, Matt and Brandy. We still have two ladder trucks that are up right now, as well as at least three other water sources that are trying to drench this building still more than four hours into this firefight. I want to give you a closer look, though, of what just happened within the last 10 minutes. You can see as we're zooming in here, the front of this building here, a uh, part of the roof or part of the second floor collapsed. You can see a lot of uh, the the floor and the roof now sticking out of that front window there on your screens. Again, that happened just within the last 10 minutes, and that's something that fire crews did warn us is a possibility, was a possibility, and continues to be something that we could see as uh, crews are here continuing to work this fire. Like Brandy said, we know that this was called in just before 3 o'clock this morning. St. Paul fire officials saying it was a woman who lived in an apartment unit here who called in saying that her unit was on fire. St. Paul fire officials tell me that woman, she evacuated her apartment out of a window next door and then went onto the roof to get to safety. Officials say she was not hurt and is believed to be the only occupant in this building. Now, at one time, firefighters, they were inside fighting this fire, but they were all evacuated for their safety. Officials saying this building, again, it's old and it's unstable saying again, it could be a possibility that we see more of this building collapse throughout the morning here. Now crews say being outside of the fire instead of inside, that's really what's making this firefight so difficult here this morning. Flames, they're still raging on inside. We can still see big plumes of smoke coming out as well. And it's really hard for crews to get into the nooks and crannies of this building here. Now, the light rail, it does go parallel here on University. We spoke to Metro Transit. They say the train is still running. We've seen it run most of the morning here. It's just running at reduced speeds. We also talked to St. Paul fire officials a little bit ago. They say that about half a block uh, of this area is without power right now. XL did turn it off for the safety of the firefighters as they continue their firefight here this morning. A lot still happening, a lot still going on. Spoke to fire officials just a minute ago who said it's going to be a long morning here in the Midway neighborhood here in St. Paul. We'll keep you updated. Matt Brandy.